What is up, bros, and welcome back, and I hope you are ready to go ham with this new season update because we got everything from insane new border angles that'll literally make people rage quit, new hiding spots, and of course, everything in between. Along with that, I also want to thank Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. We have the brand new battle pass that goes from March 16th to May 24th, and it works just like how they did before, but now you can automatically unlock Flores when you upgrade to the premium pass. Besides that, you're going to get free gear for just playing the game. If you want to see a full list of what's on the battle pass before you decide, you can click the link down below in the description to see them all. There's a lot of really nice new gear here that you can see, but overall my favorite thing about this battle pass is that there are four new attachment skins that let us get even more creative, and one of them is even on the free tier. Anyways, I've been really looking forward to showing you guys this episode, so I hope you guys enjoy it too. Up first is the nastiest spawn peak on border because it's insanely hard to counter because it's just a few pixels. This leads directly outside to the east side of the unit to take the head off of any attacker that's going on that side. I also like to break the window and make it look just like super obvious like I'm going to be sticking my face through the window, but when the attackers turn the corner they're going to be screaming. No way. Next up is the secret vault prompt that you can get in Custom's desk. After impacting the duffel bag on the shelf you can crouch by the monitor and vault up. You're not going to be high enough to stay hidden from drones if you're playing as a vigil but it is a good spot to just create off angles and give you a huge advantage whenever somebody tries to check the area. If you go on the far south side of the shelf, you can even hold an angle that goes all the way to the other side of the waiting room. This next one is one of the first unexpected angles that I found while playing on the new border rework and since they changed the supply room bomb site, I think that this area is going to be even more high traffic than before. I found it best with a castle because then you can block off the hall behind you so that you don't get shot in the back, then just smack the wall on the left side of the support beam to have a line of sight that goes at a really sideways angle all the way to the truck outside. You can deny the plant, the entry, and even get some really early kills from this spot. So standing on the floor for this angle is cool and all and it's really fast but if it is a little bit too hard to see then you can stand on the edge of the desk and then back up and go to the side to get on top of it and then if you prone you'll be able to see the top third of the attacker's body when they vault in. This spot is really good for anyone that's roaming the map and unless the attackers are like 5 man droning the entry it's going to be really unlikely that they're going to expect you here. If you don't have enough HP for the regular roof drop that goes outside of the archives window and you want to risk either dying or clutching for the boys, then you can do this secret parkour drop down and only lose 1 HP. Just make sure you push forward enough or else your knees are going to break. Next up, we're going to slap anyone that thinks they're smart and does the 6 year old drop down parkour to archives window or simply anyone vaulting up from the bus. Now there's a lot of cool angles that you can hold by standing on the bomb but my favorite is this one that goes out to the window right next to where people either land after dropping down or where they are when they vault up from the bus. Your body's also really well hidden and attackers are going to be ADSing at head level and they're just going to be giving you their face. Next up is the elevated angle to kill anyone that's crouching behind half wall all while they can't see you. On the old border you used to be able to just stand on the PC monitor to get an angle but now you can also swerve your way onto this fan if the monitor gets destroyed. Once you're up here in either spot you'll be able to see the forehead of anybody that's crouching on the half wall all while they literally can't see you so go get your free kills before they learn. Next up is the multi-choice angle that you can create that Nico showed me and it's nuts. First options, you can barricade from security to watch the entry door from south balcony or you can reinforce it from break room to have angles that go through security and even all the way outside onto the west balcony. Side note here is that you can do this with castle but the hitbox on the castle barricades extends into your visibility so it's harder to get bullets to go through the gap. The most annoying mirror setup to go against is up next and Priest showed me this during one of our play sessions so shout out to his big brain for this one. By placing a mirror on the right side of the armory locker soft wall you can then use the solid half wall behind it to be really hard to kill all while terrorizing anybody that's trying to enter the archives. The best way to counter this is to fully destroy the soft wall in order to get rid of the mirror mirror and even if they do this then think about all the utility and time that you made them waste. 
The through five wall angle is up next and this one cuts off rotations from the new balcony. Once you take security, you have a new flank route to watch and I can guarantee you that this angle is one that anyone that's trying to flank is going to be expecting the least. It's actually surprisingly easy to set up with Kali or any soft creature that's able to take security, and it's kind of nuts, but since we're playing music that sounds like Dude Perfect, you have a 100% chance of landing it. Before the border rework, this wall right here used to have a solid base, but now that we can destroy it, we can use it for even more unexpected flanks. This area in the hall is totally different and if you have a castle you can make your own little hotbox with walls on each side and you're going to be able to stop attackers in their tracks in the hallway and then you'll be able to wrap behind them and punch them in the back of the head. I like it Kaji. Next up is the best drone that you can possibly set up and it'll take you one second without any extra work besides looking up into the air. Once you know new balk is safe then you can run into the corner, look straight up where you see my crosshairs and then press your drone button and then sprint away. After throwing your drone you're not going to need to do any extra work, it's going to be good where it lands and anyone that's dead can instantly go on it and help watch out or if anyone has time then they can also drive around this entire perimeter. The best anchor angle in Workshop is up next and you'll just need an impact or something to help get the wood out of your way. Once you've proned inside then you'll be able to see through the south gap in the wooden counter for angles that go all the way to the back wall of customs. This is a pretty common plant area so we'll see if it transfers over to the new reworked border but either way if anyone goes through this line of sight you'll be invisible to them and they'll be punching their desk while they watch your kill cam. Next up is the trio of hiding spots with the first being this insane high spot by Armory Desk. The only vault prompt you're gonna need for this one is the first one to get on the desk because from there you're just gonna go towards the east on the back of the chair. That's gonna elevate you and then you're gonna sprint to the first layer of cabinets, sprint up the right set of handles and then again to the corner. If you want to hide with a mirror shield up here to embarrass some people then that's great or you can even use it to kill people that are peeking on West Balcony. Up next is my favorite thing that Nico showed me on the new border rework and it's so easy to get into and it's so incredibly hard to see. The wall behind this hiding spot even protects you from stray bullets and I was able to land it literally the second time that we tried it. Oh wait, he's passing you? Pass he's passing you, passing you. Oh my god, yeah, let's go yeah, baby! <laughs> Dude! Oh what Dude. the? Up next is a hiding spot that's going to make you lose half of your body while you're able to hold an angle across the map. Just like upstairs, just swerve onto the blades of the fan first, and then once you're on, you can then go prone facing east, move south, and wiggle your way in. Anyways, Brafam, that's going to wrap it up for today. Don't forget the new Crimson Heist Battle Pass runs from March 16th to May 24th, where my favorite thing about the Battle Pass is that there are four different attachment skins and one that's even on the free tier. If you want to get some free gear for just playing the game, then I got the entire Battle Pass item list linked down below for you to check out to see if it's something that you'd be interested in. I'll see you guys all very soon in the next video. I love you all. Peace.